What's up, guys? We're back for part three of the Legacy of Rosemont Hill. Yes, I dyed my hair brown because I got really bored of my natural hair and I wanted to try something else. So moving on, this is the third day. I believe we're playing the game. Let me double check what I've got made so far. Yeah, I've got the first two parts made. So we are going on to the Western Championships. So let's get our game going here. The nice thing I wanted to mention too is I am playing another game as well at the same time. And I got into past the third competition in about an hour and a half. So if you're just straight playing and not filming, it's really easy to do all of the things that need to be done. So first we're gonna go talk to Linda again. Your new horse is really beautiful, Annie. Thank you. Oh, thank you. See you later. All right. Go and get some apples, always get some apples. Do, 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 do. Keep hitting enter till you get a couple. And then I think, nope, eventually Michael's gonna be there. So let's go see what we need to do for activities. I think John should be coming around the corner. Maybe not. I hear him. I don't know where he went. Oh, he's all the way over there. Oh, there's Michael. We can go kill two birds with one stone. First we'll talk to Michael. Hi. It's nice to have you here at Roseman Hill. Oh, thank you. Okay. See you later. So Michael's gone. Let's talk to John. Annie, I have to ask you a favor. Can you help me sweep the aisle? Yes. Thanks. We would love to sweep the aisle. Do 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 do. Hi. When I got here today, I noticed that your horse had a nasty wound on its leg. So I called the veterinarian. And it's Alpha. There we go. Now I've put on some pain relieving ointment. Don't worry, Annie. Your horse will... Bye, girls. And I guess it's just gonna cut her off. Good to hear that it wasn't anything serious. Hey, Annie, I've lost one of Comet's studs. Could you help me look for it? Yes. Thanks for your help. And surprise, there it is. Literally right in front of her face. She could have probably gotten it herself. Oh, thanks. I never thought I'd... Cut her off. Oh, thank you. So she'll clean our stall, so that's nice. And let's take care of uh, the aisle while we're at it. Pretty much in all of the... At least the third and fourth level, there's something you can do to make someone else clean your stalls for you, which is a really good option because otherwise you have to deal with that door bug and it's really annoying. Now you'll find when you do the aisle as a favor to John, if you're not right on top of the pile, it will not go away, unfortunately. And it used to be I remember when I played as a kid, the aisle stayed clean once you swept it for almost the entire time I played. But ever since with this download, it pretty much stays dirty all the time. I better put the grooming brush back exactly where I found it before I My cat's playing with her toy. Hey, take a nap. All right, first things first. 
I like to turn out John and Melissa's horses. Because I don't think it's fair that they have to stay inside while my horses don't. The pasture you can really utilize during during this part of the game because having three horses you're going to be on a three horse chore rotational schedule and sometimes it can take a really long time for them to need something so by turning them in and out as they need things it just kind of takes up extra time that you would otherwise just be standing there doing nothing Sometimes I think my cat is inherently stupid. Why don't you lay down? And you want to be brushed. Whoops. I'm going to groom you. Great. Elf has been groomed. And we're going to take him outside. The only downside to turning out the horses is that they, it's open world format basically. So they can like run away from you, which is really not great. Maeve. In all the other days that I filmed, she slept quietly, but she just really needs to feel like she has to play with the jingly ball today. Okay, next, monster needs to be ridden. We can do that. I have confirmed monster is officially the fastest horse that I've dealt with playing this game. In my other game, I've gone on to the Glenwood and he's just, he's so fast, like, cannot keep up. It's insane. I mean, this is even how fast he's going at 50% health. It's just absolutely wild. And he turns so quickly. Whoa, Rachel, where are you going? This was not a good training ride, but that's okay. Because this is officially the first level that we don't have to do all of the rides on the trails. And like the cross country and steeplechase. And it doesn't matter if you have a clear round or not. Obviously we had that first fence down. So you can see we've met all the training requirements. Now if monster needs to be ridden, oh no. What happened to my game? Oh my, okay. I must have hit a button, sorry. <laughs> I was like, no, I didn't save. Um, you can always, I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos, you can save more than just, and you know, it's gonna close down the screen, but better to be safe than sorry. All right, so he can go outside then. Seeing the aisles all dirty again. Annoying as heck. That really gave him no benefit to his health. That is the sad thing, unfortunately. Um, it does take a long time for level three for whatever reason. Who knows? All right, last horse. Darling, I think we got. I can confirm, I think I also picked her in my own personal game. See what I mean? She's like yellow. I don't know, it's very strange. 
Anywho, I can confirm she is not very, f I mean, she's fast. She's like cocktail fast. She's not monster fast. I'm going to groom you. you. Yeah, all of the chores are only going to give you like three to five percent, except for Alpha. For some reason, he gains his health super fast. Very strange. All right, let's put him outside and then we'll go walk around and figure out what else there is in this portion. I can always look at my cheat sheets. All right, let them sit for a little bit. Pretty sure we have the interview with the phone guy. So let's go. Yep. Hi, Annie. My name is Robert Jones, and uh, I'm calling from the Rosemont Valley Post. You've been predicted to have a brilliant career as a horsewoman, and I'd like to write an article about you. May I ask you a few questions? Sure. That sounds good. Uh, how do you feel after the competition? So it, I'll just tell you now, it doesn't matter what options you pick. I think the story produced is the same regardless. Great, thanks. It was fun. What do you think about the competition? There sure are a lot of good riders, not to mention Melissa, my friend at the stables. Which horse would you prefer to ride in a big and important competition such as Kingswood Championships? I always took this to be like my present horse, as in the horse she was gifted which would be alpha, and alpha is not good enough, but it could just mean my present horse, as in the horse I currently have, is fantastic. Um, so I guess I usually I'm pleased with my horse, pick this. But in that case, I'd like to ride an even faster horse. One last question. What are your dreams for the future, Annie? I won't give up until I've won the Kingswood Championships. Okay, Annie. Thanks a lot for the interview, and good luck in the future. Thank you. All right. Then I think, I think we've hit everything. Let me just double check. I don't think we get the locket yet. Her diary's not in there yet. Okay, so nothing in the attic. And I think there's one more phone call. Yep. Hi, Annie, it's your sister. I don't have to go to work today. So if you want, I can clear the dung out and groom for you. Thanks. That would be great. Fine. Catch you later. Which, it's a bit redundant because Melissa was already cleaning out stalls for us. But it is what it is. So now we've hit 11 of the 24 total activities. Let's grab Alpha if we can. Look at this chaos. Oh my goodness. See, and he doesn't even need anything yet, but he will once we grab him. Yep, see, now he wants food. So now you have an idea of how long it takes for that chore cycle to start over again with the horses. So it can be pretty tedious, unfortunately. Uh-oh, somehow I grabbed a saddle. Oh, bucket's gone. Disappeared. Into thin air. Here you go. Now it's back. It's a miracle. What's he at? Yeah. Oh, this is going to take a while. This would be the point in the video where I'm going to leave in my gameplay. But if you don't want to listen to me talk and play, then I would just probably like fast forward. Maybe I'll be nice and put in a timestamp of what you can fast forward to <laughs> when I'm done with this. Because it's going to take a while to get everybody at 100%. You really do want everyone at 100% to get as high in the gameplay gauge as you can. Come here, monster. Come back here. The other important thing is that to do the activity, your horse has to be in their stall, not just a stall, but their stall, 
for example, I had my horse turned out, it needed its stall clean, and I was like, oh, I'll just clean the stall while it's not in it because obviously that's way easier. No, um, it did not register, so I had to actually wait for the poop to like reappear magically, put the horse in the stall, then clean the stall, then it was considered clean. So there are definitely some flaws in this game. It is what it is. 2002, remember, we're just doing what we can. There goes the cat. Go get Darling. Come here, pony. I always thought this looked a little congested with five horses in here. So you can um, walk John and Melissa's horses over to the far pasture. You can turn out there. It just won't count as turn out if you put your horses there. But again, when I liked the long gameplay and everything, I would turn my horses out there when they didn't need anything and then do the long walk back to the barn. I had a lot of time as a kid. Trying not to bore you guys to death. Here you go. And like the food doesn't show up in half of the bins of the stalls and it's just a whole thing. I used to pretend I was like the help and so I would go put feed in all of the empty stalls, like prepping for all the horses to come inside. Even if you consider Linda and Michael's horses, which aren't even technically here, I guess, um, there's still more stalls than there are horses, so that was like a dumb kid thing that I used to do. Let's see what Melissa has to say. Hi, Annie. You better practice a lot if you want to beat me in the next competition. I have been training a lot, What's and that? I think you'll do well. Come on, Alpha. Oh, well, they all want to be pet. Nice horse. I lied. So you can pet horses in the pasture and it'll work. That's John's horse. Where's Monster? Come here. Ah! Chaos. <laughs> Come here, you bastard. Ah, I tell ya. So we've... When someone offers to do a chore for you, it will take it off your horse tasks. So like the stall and grooming, I didn't technically have to do. But now remember, um, two of your chore options are taken care of. And so the horses are going to cycle through the other ones more frequently. So I found that for level three, I have a lot of rides I have to do, which is like the most time consuming thing. Let's close that while we're at it. Here you go. Beautiful. Ah! And then we take monster back outside. Yeah, we're not doing great. But Alpha looks like he's doing good. He might be at 100%. Like I told you, like three things and he's done. Come here, darling. Darling, darling. Ah, so close. Nice horse. Counts. She's at 71. Monsters at 73. Alpha's somewhere. Alpha! Don't be by my mortal enemy. 96. Oh yeah, John's horse's name is Rocky and Melissa's horse's name is Comet. Come back here. You're coming inside next.
Yep, he wants an apple, which we might. Let's try it. Let's see if we can put him here. Nope. I'm still trying. Q, enter. Am I supposed to hit the space? I'm having a brain fart. There we go. So you can do that. All right. So he's at 100%. Easy peasy. Monster. Little monster. It did always bother me how their tails look like dog tails, like they're one unit. So this is, this cycling is going pretty well. Bummer. We'll get there eventually. They do all get to 100%. It just takes a very long time. Don't you love when your horses just end up inside each other? Oh, look at that. Ta-da! She just wanted to run more. She's a 76, so she's got the longest way to go. Alpha. Basically, if you do this method, you're going to spend most of your time in the pasture chasing the horses down. He's a happy camper. He's ready to go. He wants everybody else to get their crap together. food again. Doing a lot of food. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're so close. One more on him and he'll be good. I'm not sure. Darling looks pretty dark in her health meter still. She's probably down in the low 80s maybe. All right, let's get you back out there. Come back. I can only walk so fast. Something I've never done that I would not recommend doing is having all brown horses and then turning them out with John and Melissa's horses because that would probably create a scene. 
So now we've hit a spot where I'm catching up to the, God, she's only at 76. I'm catching up to the recycled chores. So sometimes you'll hit a point where you get the horse inside and suddenly, And then they don't need anything, so then you gotta sit and wait. I do find turning them out helps pass the time, but it's very repetitive. I don't know where I'm going. Thanks for your help, Danny. You oh, know that you're God, you scared me. <laughs> Thank no you. Problem. All right, I'm going to stand here and wait a minute. And while that's going on, I'm going to go check and see because it sounds like my cat's scratching my brand new <laughs> $4,000 saddle. What are you doing? All right, with that little intermission, we should have some horses ready to be brought inside. Alpha, don't you dare. Oh, we're going on a ride. Happy as can be. She needs a shower. Oh my God. What are you doing? Cats, man. So this is how you use the shower. So you just park them here, hit, uh, I try to center them a little bit better over the drain. And then enter, ta -da. Giving a horse a shower is a lot of work, but they, they really, really like it. it. And then I think I saw this guy needed to come in for a brushing. And sadly, now I've messed up the order. So. I think since we're getting pretty close, I'm going to just bring them inside now. I'm getting tired of running back and forth trying to get them. This is like the fourth grooming that Monster needs. It's really becoming repetitive. That was not what I grabbed. Finally, one more to go. Let's go get everybody else from the pasture. I'll leave John and Melissa's horses out because I don't really care. Who's coming first? You are. I've also been testing different methods of getting the gameplay radar to go all the way to 100 every time. I just don't think it's possible. I've tried doing all the courses even when they're not required. I've tried splitting up the activities, but some of them are level specific. So if you don't do them, then they go away and you never get those benefits. So that just kind of becomes a waste. If anyone has played this game and does know how to get to 100 every single time. I would love to know because I haven't been able to find anything about it. Looks like she might just need one more activity. I'm thinking you can also tack up in the wash stall. All right, so she wants to be pet. 
Nice horse. <laughs> Seriously, that was not enough. Nice horse. Ah, oh, let's try giving her an apple. Sometimes you can get it to go up a little bit. Ah, oh, 99. <laughs> We're gonna have to do more. It's fine. Alpha wants food. We'll do one more round of chores and then we'll call it good. Alpha's like, I'm ready to go. And everyone else is like, no. I don't think I grabbed any candy. I don't know who I'll feed it to. Probably Monster, because he's my favorite. And he don't need nothing right now. Have a piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. All right, so this will get her to 100%, and I'm gonna just bloop, bring her in right away. So like, I don't know what events I'm missing to be only at 79% in the gameplay for this level. It doesn't make sense. All the walkthroughs you can find, this is all the activities, so very hard to determine. I want to make sure he doesn't, he wants food. Got to make sure he's fed before we go because he is the show horse. Make sure he doesn't need anything. Here you go. All right, everybody's at 100%. Check on Alpha one more time and then we'll go to the competition. Yeah, he doesn't need anything. Wonderful. Let's go save our game. All right, save, and it'll close down. All right, let's go to the competition. All right, let's go compete. We've got it saved. Save before your competitions because you know you're gonna mess up. All right. Not gonna talk much during the show so I can focus. Welcome to the Western Championships, one of the most popular riding competitions. The difficult Western surroundings will truly make all of the equestrians demonstrate their skills in jumping, steeplechase, and the spectacular cross-country course. We'll see which of the competitors will be able to make the entire program. Once again, welcome!
Thank you for the nice performance. Honestly, I am putting in the fastest rounds and I'm wondering if I missed something. Hmm. No. I don't know. Ride up to me and make a halt in front of me so that I can examine the horse's health and fitness. I will be fairly quick. I'm going to check the pulse and see whether the steeplechase has caused any injuries. I guess we're fine. Be careful in the Western Championship because some of the bushes and cacti and trees you can actually run into and the horse will rear up. There's a bounce, and there's another really tricky one coming up. Carefully, you don't have too much speed here. It's a hard turn. This is it, line yourself up slow. This one too, line up good so you don't run into the building. Yeah, for some reason it just did not, like there's no way there's an eight second difference. This is close to the fastest time I've ever done on this course and they're saying she won by eight seconds, like no. You're incredible in the competition, Annie. So this is the first time doing this show that I didn't take first place and I don't know why unless your gameplay has to be above 80 on that meter and we just didn't get there. So we're going to replace Darling because I want to. Here's another Palomino but she's slow. Windy is another good one. Chess is gonna be your fastest option out of these. Um, Magic is also good, but I have two brown horses. I think I'd rather go with Chess. Hi, Annie here again. I have a secret. Sometimes when I'm alone in the barn at night, I walk around the farm and pretend that I'm the one who lives at Rosamond Hill. I would really like to go into the house John told me that the key to the entrance is located under a loose stone in the path to the house. I think that I'll sneak in sometime, only to look around, to see what it looks like in the entrance. That couldn't hurt anything, right? By the way, I have to tell you that Speed is expecting a foal. It's so exciting. P.S. <sighs> I think that Melissa is in love with John. I wonder. All right, guys, that wraps up the third competition, and we will resume part four another time.